Lesson Adaptive Learning Moodle's lesson activity enables teachers to create content which can adapt to the learner's responses. This is useful for decision making exercises, simulations, independent revision, and subject practice where learners can choose their own path through the content. In this first aid lesson, teaching CPR, the course participant can first choose whether they wish to read text or watch a video. Then when they've taken in the information, they are presented with some quick questions to check understanding. Let's explore how this lesson is made. Our teacher Sam adds a lesson by enabling edit mode top right, clicking add an activity or resource or anywhere on the page between activities and choosing lesson. Click once to go straight to the setup screen or click the eye icon for more information and then the add button bottom right. The name is important because it's what learners see to access it and you can add an optional description which can be displayed on the course page by ticking the box. Remember this will also display the description within the lesson as well. Other settings can be expanded by clicking the links. In Appearance, Show More displays all possible options. Administrators can decide what displays by default and what is accessed from the Show More link. The Help icons give more information about each setting. For example, a file, useful during the lesson, can be uploaded in the linked media section. The figure in the maximum number of answers defines the response options our teacher has for each lesson page and can easily be changed later. A percentage progress bar and a menu, i.e. list of pages, can also be displayed. In availability, lessons can have a time limit and password but if learners do the lesson offline, of course the time limit will not apply. In flow control, we can let learners review, but not repeat the lesson, let them try the questions again and decide how often and what happens when they answer correctly. Other settings are similar to other activities, but in activity completion, to track that students have accessed the lesson activity, do we want them to manually click to confirm they've seen it? or do we want it automatically marked complete when they have, for instance, simply viewed it, obtained a grade, or spent a required length of time? No need to select view as well as the other criteria. To alert course participants that a lesson activity has been added or updated, click Send Content Change Notification. After clicking Save and Display, our teacher Sam has to decide what to add first. Note. It is helpful to plan your lesson structure in advance so you know where you're heading. Existing questions can be imported in certain formats. A cluster is a group of question pages which appear randomly to students. A cluster is bordered by a start cluster and end cluster page. A content page contains information while a question page offers a type of question, for example, multiple choice. Let's first look at the content page. Lessons can contain text, images, videos and links. Once our teacher has added the content, it's important to make the connections, the jumps, to subsequent pages. This is why it's really important to have planned your lesson structure first. This is the first page and here are the options to jump to. We'll leave it at this page for now as we haven't made any other pages. But when there are other pages, these will appear as names in the list of options. So one jump is video and goes to the next page. The other jump is text and also goes to the next page. For now, saving the page displays its title, type, content, jumps and actions, deleting, duplicating, adding a new page, etc. We are seeing the collapsed view. The expanded view shows the same information but in more detail. Most times you'll be happy with the collapsed view. We need to add two pages, one with a video and one with text. So we click, add a new page, add content page and add our video. Then we click again, add a new page, add content and add our text. 
Let's look at the jumps. Our lesson is not going to work until we fix the path through the pages. So we return to the first page and go to the jumps. Now the video page is visible as an option, so we can link to it. And we can link to the text page as the second option. Finally, a question page will test the learner's understanding. So we click to add a question page and decide the type of question, perhaps multiple choice. Answers can include links, media and images for further information. And we can decide to make the learners remain on the same page until they get it right by selecting this page for incorrect responses. When the learner gets the question correct, we can, if desired, direct them to the end of the lesson or we can make another question and then edit it to ensure the jumps are correct. What the teacher sees. Let's look behind the scenes at the finished lesson. It's important to check all the jumps are correct with named pages. What the student sees. As our student navigates through the lesson, remember we added a time required completion condition to ensure she read or watched the materials thoroughly. If she reaches the end of the lesson before the required time, she's not allowed to complete it yet. To summarise, lesson allows you to create a personalised experience for your learners.